Yo, everybody, it's Heal Override. How y'all doing today? Are you ready to bring the pain? On my newest episode, yo, if you haven't checked out my stuff over at Dr. Roto, get over there, get on there for the Sunday MLB DFS write-up, stuff like that. But this one right here, this one is different. This, this podcast, if you didn't already read the title, is about living life as a wrestler. Yo, no, this isn't talking about kayfabe. I'm just literally going to talk about just some crazy stuff for a few minutes, have a little bit of fun, talk some stuff, build on it, tell y'all get ready for the next, next seasons and everything like that, just to let y'all know where I'm at. I had a couple tournaments come up. I didn't feel well for one, kind of took me past it. The working out, the preparing for all of the things that I had to do to get ready for that team. Woo! But guess what? That next one took my car to the top, took this to the top, because that's how we bring it. Yeah! Oh, yeah. So why are we talking today? We're talking today because living life is a wrestler. Look, I will tell you this is one thing. It's been a while since they did a real bring the pain, right? But like, man, people, people like just, they, they do their things. They just, they, I run into more people that don't listen to music, don't like sports. Like they don't even knit. Like they don't do anything. And like you, you talk. So you start out. You're like, "Hey, how you doing?" You know, you see if they're saying they're like, "Yeah," they're like, "Oh, well, what do you, well, what do you like?" And I'm like, "Well, I like sports or something." You know, just bringing things up, right? Just bringing things up. We're just talking. No, I don't like sports. You're like, "All right, well, I mean, I like wrestling or something like that." I always got some socks, you know, displaying what I like. You know, Ninja Turtles or Super Mario. You know, even video games. You just can't. You get actually, you'll get more kind of gamers now which is really weird than sports people. And I know that a lot of people out there are like, yo, you talking out of you. Yeah, I'm not talking out of mine, right? But at the same time, it's one of those things that is going down in this world. I'm like, hey, what is, what, what's really good with this? Why, why are people? And what this episode is about is living life like a wrestler, man. You know, like it's sitting in your car and... You know, you, you're just thinking about like a wrestling music and you're, get, you're getting ready, let's say, to go to work. And you're like, well, what amps you up, right? Next thing you know, you, easily, you can put on Glass Shatters with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Easily, you can put that on. Right? You walk into work, you're like, dun, 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 dun. see what I'm saying now? now? Now you get what I'm saying. When I say living life like a wrestler, you know, like you got that tune in your head. You know, you get this person that comes out of nowhere like, hey. You know, how do I, I got to figure this out. I got, I need help. I need to figure this out. Right. And you'll be like, all of a sudden, right in your mind, you get that no chance, no chance in hell. Right. Cause you mopping up a mess from somebody else's dog that just took up in your store. Right. That isn't really what happens, but that was, that is what happens in life. Okay. So we're trying to do that. And we definitely want the money, 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 money. Woo. Here comes the money and the pain. That's right. So why it goes. So I figured this out. I was like, look, people, what happened to you? You were all so beautiful, good at having fun. And now you you don't because you don't like sports and you don't like music. You don't like music. Like, why? What do you, you, do you not whistle? Do you not? Because I'm going to tell you, right, the, the first nudiest person in the world will be like, right? But if I don't even like, hey, you want, I don't like music. I'm like, wait a minute, what? How you not like music, but you snapping at people, man? You make a sound. You can make a song to that. You can be like. Right? 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 You ain't ever getting that on another podcast. I'm going to say that much. Ain't nobody that crazy. That Oh, yeah. Bring the pain, yeah. That's right. Ah. So check it out, right? So we're back to it. I, I I try to relate to these people, and you can't find that. And you find out that they work a lot, and you're sad for that. You're sad because they go, "Well, all I do is work," and I was like, "Well, what good is work if you don't have time to enjoy it? What good is anything?" Like. Why put time into a marriage if you don't enjoy it? Why put time into anything that you love if you don't love it? I have found when I was 41, 
I found that I finally wanted to join karate from the determination and all the talking that my daughter, Minnie Override, kept whispering in my ear, right? And she got me to join. And it's been the best thing ever because it's opened up the world to so many different things. But just being able to conquer things, like always having a fear of like, you know, when I was younger and, you know, bigger kids would bully me, I would always just feel intimidated because I was small. And, and now I'm still small, but then I get, the, you know, these six, five monsters on the other side and I can actually point fight with them and I can beat them and they can beat me, but I can beat them and I beat them. And that's the best part is because you overcome challenges. I overcame that. I used to be just terrified. Now it's like, you know what? Just go work your magic. Go work the styles. Go work everything that you did. And that, for me, has been a big thing for me. So that is a passion. And that's a passion. But I love music. I love sports. I love WWF slash WWE wrestling. WCW wrestling. AEW wrestling. I love that there's so many different factions now that you can watch a lot of your different favorite wrestlers on different things. And that is what's the best. And it's experiencing that with my family, who's a huge wrestling family, who loves sports. So that's my family. But when, you know, like people put you on blast, like why, why do you have your family like that? Why does your family only care about this? Well, you know what? You know why? Because we're happy. <laughs> you had ever thought that? We're happy. We're happy because we like the sports. And you can think all you want. Well, sports is a facade and blah, 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 blah. No, nah, man, we're here. We paint rocks. We have fun. We're doing our things. We're paying these bills. We're trying to retire, right? We're trying to bring the pain. <laughs> we're trying to bring the retire. And, and the whole thing together comes back to passions. And that's what living life like a wrestler is. Man, I can't tell you how much times I listen to wrestling. Right now, my mini right here, yo, she listened to Cody Rhodes' song all over again and again, Kingdom. Wow! Right now, man, I'm an A-Town down, dude. I'm loving me some A-Town. I love Austin Theory, man. I'm loving that right now. So it's like we walk around like I went. And so we went to the we went to the dojo one night and we was really jacked up. Like we, me and her, were really jacked up. And I came in and I was like, I just had my arms up like this, and I was like, Austin Theory, you no. Know? And I'm like, yeah, and yeah. like we it was fight night, sparring night for us. And I was like, A town down, A town down. And hey, you know, my first fight all the time is my mini, right? She's my mini, right? So we're fighting. She's getting, she's getting crazy now because she's getting bigger. So now she's like, she's like really taking me to school. She's like up for, you know, like she's doing so good. And I'm so proud of her, so proud of her. And it's like, you know, and she's training me at the same time too. So it, it's it's one of those things, but she's been unleashing these kicks and stuff. And I'm like, you know, but we're out there, I'm like eight town down. And she's just over there and she's playing. And yeah, I'm some of the classmates because, you know, it's makes you know, I, I, I'll spar them, you know, more of a training session for them. And they're all like, yeah, wrestling. And we all talk. And it's just, it's just cool stuff. It's what people do. You know, we really, really, really do love to watch other things. And then we talk sports. We talk MMA. We talk UFC. We talk all the fight tech that we got coming up for the t for our teammates right now. We talk so much about all these cool things. We don't even talk be able to talk about work because we love so many other things. And I think that that's what people just need back in their life. Like you can still do your job if you just if you listen to music as well as well. If you can't listen to music, find something, do something, figure something out. You can do that. Right. And if you have just a lockdown job, you can't do that. Well, then when you get out of that job, put in a put in a tape, a CD, put on some series, put, put whatever you want on. Right. But ease your mind, play video game, ease your mind, knit, ease your mind, do what you got to do. But man, living a life as a wrestler, <laughs> you know, that's like stuff like so when I go out and I'm dressed as like Macho Man and you're living as a wrestler. I'm literally not even me anymore because I got the shades on. So it's a whole nother world of worlds. It's like when you think about the things that might happen, uh huh? Yeah. 
ain't about hell that it's gonna duck you could be yeah it's fun you're gonna have yeah and that's like what is so great about living living is beautiful if you know how to live and living like a wrestler is sometimes the only way to live oh yeah you can catch my work at drrodo.com for any dfs seasonal questions idp matters idp god bring the pain hashtag bring the pain hashtag dr roto hashtag let's get this hashtag let's do that and let's always remember to bring the pain have a great day buddy everybody get ready for the onslaught because we have so much ready for all of you and you're gonna have so much fun Ooh. Yeah! Woo!